Namshiva students, welcome back to the class. Today in this video, I am going to start new chapter, chapter 7, more on internet. In this video, first I am going to give you the introduction that what is an internet, where internets are used and what is an electronic mail or email and the advantages of email we are going to see. So let us begin. You will take out page number 98 of your book and follow this video. Introduction You know about the internet. The internet is the biggest network of computers. Many small network of computers are connected together to make a global network of computer which has millions of computers in it, building the internet. Internet is not owned by anybody as a whole. So what is an internet? Internet is formed when many small network of computers are connected together to make a global or a big network of computers. Okay, In this big network of computer or we can tell global network of computer, it have a millions of computers in it. So like if I am connecting a five net, five computer, okay, it is forming a network, a small network. Same way another five it is in it is forming another five computer is forming a network in the other place so in this way if this small small network are connected all over the world when all these networks are connected and a network of computers are getting connected they are forming a global network of computer that is termed as internet okay and we can see that internet is not owned by anybody as a whole right so what let us see the uses of internet Internet is an easy way to get information from all over the world. It provides numerous facilities to people. It is very helpful to people. Let us learn about some of the uses of internet in detail. So we have seen in this situation that how the internet is useful to all of us, right? It provides numerous facility to all the people and it is also very helpful. So, let us see point wise that some of the uses of internet. First is searching for information. You can search for any information on the internet. This you have seen that how if you want to find out any video, you want to learn something, you can find any information using an internet. So, searching for information, we can do that using internet. Then communication with people, like we are doing a phone call, right? Other than phone call, we have the communications like email, voicemail, online chatting. So these are the different communications that can be done with the other people also, right? So we can communicate with through email, we can send an email or you can send a voicemail also. We can do the online chatting also. So these are all methods of faster and cheaper means of communication and how they are done using internet. If you don't have internet, you can't send email or the voicemail or even you can't do the online chatting. Meeting people. You can meet people through the internet like the video call. How you can do the video call? If you have an internet, then only you can do the video call. So meeting people, we can meet a people through the internet. Entertainment. Online games. Quiz, music, movies and videos are all available through the internet. So we can play a game, online game. Then we can also participate in a quiz competition. They can, we can listen music and we can see the movies and videos also through the internet. Discussion forum. Like minded people can form groups together to discuss topics of interest. So a forum can be made. It can be through any social media. Any social media we can access over there. We can form a, we can form a forum over there. A discussion can happen. A healthy discussion can help you to gather a lot many information also. Okay. Then education and learning. Like over here discussion forum over here you can discuss any interesting topic when you are discussing with the other people you are also gathering an information also you are also connecting socially with the other people also education and learning 
Internet is a great tool for online learning and courses. It is also a reservoir of information. This is called as e-learning. So now you have seen that how the internet is using, uh, how the internet is helpful for you to uh, do the online learning and do the courses, do your classes, gather the information and continue your study, right? So it is also a reservoir of information and for that this is also called as e-learning. E-learning that means you are doing the learning online, okay? online banking you have seen sometime if you have uh, gone with your parents or your, or with your grandparents to the bank you have seen that how the bank work is being done now totally the bank work is done using this internet using the computer right even the online banking like if you don't want to visit uh, the visit uh, you don't want to visit any branch you can sit at the home, use your phone and internet connection and can download the app and do the banking process. Okay. So this is also referred as internet banking or e-banking or virtual banking. So you can see such an advantage of having an internet. Okay. Online banking allows the customers to use banking service without visiting a physical branch. Then video conferencing. Video conferencing is a system that allows face-to-face -face conversation with different people who are sitting at different location. Internet is used to transmit the audio and video data between each other. So, student nowadays if you have seen that uh, when we are doing a WhatsApp video call, how it is happening? You are sitting at the other place, your teacher is sitting at the other place. But how it is done? It is done using an internet, right? So, internet is used to transmit the audio and video data between you and the teacher. So, same way video conferencing can also be done over here, many people can gather, right? They will be sitting at their home only. They should have the computer as well as the internet connection. And they can use the Google Meet or the any other uh, video call. They can do it. And from there they can uh, do a face to face conversation. They can do a meeting also. So now the next topic is e-commerce. E-commerce means buying and selling any product online using the internet. So nowadays we can see there are different social media platform are there over there uh, buying and uh, selling is done right uh, we can buy any product as well as sell the product also the e-commerce like uh, we have a flipkart then amazon then different platforms are there so over there you can see that you you are sitting at home and doing the online shopping also so how you are doing by using this internet then social networking social networking website function like an online community of internet user they provide a virtual community in which the member with common interest may communicate with each other so this had all gone about the uses of internet now next topic is electronic mail or email email is an easy way of sending and receiving messages from one computer to another computer anywhere in the world. It is one of the fastest mode of communication. In fact, the, ordi the ordinary mail due to its slow speed is nowadays called snail mail when compared with email. With the help of internet, an email takes only a few minutes to reach its destination. Student, nowadays you are very much accustomed how to use this email, right? So you have seen that how this e email is helpful to send any messages right to send or receive the messages from one computer to another like you are sending your answer paper you are sending your project how you are sending you are sending through the email so using this mail we can access it for faster other than the ordinary mail like if you are sending any letter to anybody you will be using the per you will be using this any uh, letter pad then you will be going to the post office sending the letter so it will take a time but compared to that email within a fraction of second within a few few minutes only it, it takes or within a few second your letter or your messages or any document even it allows email allows to attach the document you have seen so you can send a mail you can send a messages also with an attachment to anybody okay 
and advantages of email see email is cost effective and fast it can reach any part of the world within a few second it does not matter whether your message consists of a few line of text or thousand of line same message can be sent to any number of people at no extra cost to send an email you need an email program and the email id of the receiver right so you will be having one email id you have created your parents have created right and you will where you are sending your paper where you are sending your answer paper you are sending to an to your class email id right so the email id of the receiver also you should get you should have it to whom you want to send it that email id also sh you should get it and also your email id okay now email programs email programs may be free or paid you have to register your name or other identification with this program when you register you receive an account and a password you are responsible for the security of your account and password some of the popular web based email programs are www.gmail.com hotmail.com yahoo mail.com so nowadays maximum we are using the gmail.com but we have the other email program also hotmail.com yahoo mail.com even you can open any uh, email id using this email program okay we have nowadays a gmail we have like uh, any id your name at the rate gmail.com then you can also create using this yahoo mail so you know that how to create this email program right how to register it you have done it you have seen how your parents have done it so this is the email program these are the three different email program using it you have to sign up and you have to create your account name and a password you have to keep the password secret don't uh, tell this pa password to anybody okay then our inspiration see this is a uh, this is a picture of a savir bhatia he is a founder of the hotmail.com hotmail.com is an email program okay so this hotmail.com is founded by savir bhatia the world first webmail service he is an indian businessman so student this is the end of the video go through it and read the chapter thank you namaskar